Hi, beautiful souls. I'm sharing some light on weightlessness today. Recently, I've been experiencing this um, prolonged bouts of floating with inside my body. This is a very different kind of feeling than the floating actually above the ground, the, uh, the levitation. This is, this is very different. This is actually floating inside the body. And when you practice being in zero point in the gap for long times, long periods of time, linear time that is, and you start really feeling that, that spaciousness, that nothingness, nothing there, nothing there. You are nothing. What happens is it starts to translate into your physical experience. Translate, uh, is that the right word? It starts to become part of your physical experience, that weightlessness. And one of the things that I want to share is that I, as a sea swimmer, I, I love swimming in the sea. <laughs> And years ago, I remember swimming down to the rocks um, of, of Hive, in Hive. And it was a bit of a choppy day. And I was going for it with all I've got because, you know, I'm still developing as a swimmer. And I didn't want to quit. I wanted to get to the rocks and back, even though it was choppy and even though I was swallowing a lot of water and everything else. And... And in my head, I was having these like fears, like, oh my gosh, maybe I should just come in and walk back. You know, come on, well, who do you think you are doing all of this? But I continued. And then I also was like, aha, aware, I've got these heavy thoughts about, you know, fears about this swim. What if I were to let those go? So I let them go. And as I said, let those thoughts go, I realized I suddenly became lighter to, and, and it was easier to swim. And I was like, oh, wow, now that's such a brilliant example. If only everyone could experience that, they'll realize just how heavy thoughts can be. Because you see, the thing is, you can say to people, you know, thoughts are heavy. And, you know, in the past, I'd gone, yeah, yeah, thoughts are heavy. They can be heavy. But unless you've actually experienced it in the physical then sometimes it's harder for the human to understand because you see the human is still very much trying to understand things, make sense of things. The human has the, uh, the ego still very much active and that ego has to be in control, has to know why something is the way it is. When you're living from your heart, you don't care about any of that. All of that stuff just dissipates. It's no longer relevant. The details can just, you know, it's, they no longer exist. They're not important. Another example is that if you've ever tried taking a very afraid cat to the vet, <laughs> you'll realize just how heavy they can be. Like I remember my Siamese used to hate going to the vets and um, my mum had, you know, developed this thing where you wrap her up in a, in a, um, in a towel and get her there that way rather than trying to push her in a basket because she was just not going in the basket but knowing how she felt normally when you picked her up and then suddenly how she felt when you were taking her to the vets my gosh she was so heavy it was like the weight suddenly just completely doubled so carrying thoughts just any thoughts really can really weigh you down and when you're lightening up and you're embodying your mastery and becoming more masterful by just doing what you need to lighten up in, in all areas of your life, you know that to let go of things that are heavy is important. You may think some of these thoughts aren't even very heavy, but anything that is weighing in your mind, anything that is in your mind, going over and over in your mind, even if it's just on a program that you didn't, aren't even aware of, is going to weigh you. It's going to weigh you down. The trick is to learn how to observe your thoughts as they come and they go, not trying to force them out of your mind, 
being I'm I'm aware that I'm having this thought right now. Okay, well I'm aware of that. Just practicing that for as long as it takes until you become really, really calm with all of it and you stop having thoughts altogether. I can go for long periods of time without any thoughts. I don't have to sit in what you call meditation because meditation is a practice that helps you develop how to live life. Life is a meditation. That's, that's the truth of it. Meditation is, is a tool. It's a tool to assist you on how to live life. But when, once you've mastered your pra meditation practice, then you can start to practice living in that spacious awareness where you're med in meditation all the time. Because what is meditation if not awareness? Peacefulness, relaxation. Aware, there is some interest in my arm right now. I place relaxation there, ease, ease, grace, peacefulness, thank you. The way you interact with things, the way you move through your day is a walking meditation. Meditation in textbook and spiritual books is practice to assist you to to remember how it is to live as the divine walking through these realms and releasing thoughts will help you to be lighter releasing thoughts will bring you to zero point where you find that delicious feeling of, of um, floating inside your body, like I've been experiencing at first. It's like, oh, that's really odd. And then it's like, wow, okay. It's, um, it's like walking in a giant hamster wheel and not a wheel, a ball, you know, those big balls that you put a hamster in and then it walks around and you, you know, it's running around in a ball. Kind of like that, although without all of the stress and the and the um, the trying that the hamster does in that ball, this is effortless. This is just peaceful floating, and it all starts with being aware of your thoughts, being aware of your thoughts, letting them come, letting them go, not hanging on to anything, until you come to this point where. You are in zero point, you are in the gap and holding that space for longer and longer and longer until you're able to just walk around in zero point, present, aware and experiencing weightlessness, peacefulness, spaciousness. All is good, all is well. Thank you for watching. My name is Zaza. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe and comment if you feel called to do so. I must check my comments because lately I haven't been seeing them for some reason. It's, uh, I don't know what technology can do at times, but um, I will check that out later on today to see if there are any. I love you all. Thank you very much for co-creating a peaceful, loving and joyful world. You are love. You are loved. You are loving. And you are lovely.